Hello scrapbookers, this is Megan and I am back today with a layout for scrap timber. So this month has been kind of crazy. This, the past couple months have been kind of crazy, but I wanted to participate in this challenge that Laura, Natalie, and Miranda are doing this month. I did miss the first one, so I'm hoping to kind of be able to catch up and post a layout later this week. Um, but today I'm going to be doing a birthday project life spread for my son Jonas. He's my oldest son and this is from his 13th birthday. So here you can see I am going through this paper pad and I am going to pull out I think about four or five papers that I want to possibly use. And this is a, I think this is a recollections paper. My scrappy bestie, Hannah Lemieux, is here this week. This past week she's been here and we've kind of gone shopping just a little bit. And so her and I have kind of gone in on a couple of different paper pads just so that we can enjoy the paper pads but not have to use all of it. Cut up a bunch of the papers. Most of them I cut into four by sixes and I'm just gonna place them around the layout in a different order. I wasn't really sure how I wanted to do it so I am going to cut down a few of them to three by fours and um, the color scheme for this one was blues and kind of purpley teal and greens. I keep this um, spread super simple. These are just a few photos. The first three photos are of Jonas with his friends and then Brennan and Tinian also playing with some toys that Jonas had gotten for his birthday. And then the fourth photo is a picture of him the day after his birthday. The poor kid ate so much sugar and just junk on his birthday that he got sick the next day and wasn't able to go to school. So he has a huge two liter bottle of Sprite on his lap and Max is sitting next to him, which is just super cute. So um, that's what that photo is. And now I'm just going to embellish and layer and mat behind the photos on this second 4x6 pocket. And I had this previously stamped happy birthday or something like that. Have a happy birthday. So I'm going to put that on there and then I'm just going to glue the photo down. This is Jonas with one of his friends from school. And I'm going to use my tiny attacher just to kind of create another element on that 4x6 card. Now I am going through some embellishments and flare. I pull out this button and I'm going to pull out a couple more pieces of flare. That one says, oh, happy day, I think. And it's from a Dear Lizzie collection from quite a few years ago. And then I'm going to start matting this photo of, um, this is Jonas, and then he has two of his friends in his room, and one of them is just laying down, sprawled out on the bed, and they're trying to put together one of the, the toys that Jonas had gotten. I think it was like a Lego Ninjago set or something like that. Um, so here I'm just going to glue down a ton of layers, and I really, really like how this card turned out. I glued down that flare badge up in the top left hand corner and I think that's all for that one. I kept these Project Life cards super duper simple this time around. It was just a lot easier where I'm still trying to work on my 100 days project and finish my 2017 album. This is from 2017 and I'm trying to not spend tons and tons of time on each of the Project Life pages and everything because I have a lot that I have to get through. So I'm trying to just keep it simple. 
I'm going to glue down this photo of Brennan and Tinian and then I'm going to glue or I'm go off cutting this picture of a tweet that Mark had texted me. It's just super hilarious. I don't have it in front of me, but basically it was somebody said that they were taking a shower and they slipped and the first thing that they tried grabbing onto was water. So they tried grabbing the stream of the shower and it was just hilarious. And so I printed it off and that is going to be part of this. Mark will text me things like this all the time, all day, every day. And it's just, it's so just like him. He finds these just random things on the internet and he will just share them with me. And it's one of the things that I absolutely love. So I've been making sure to snap screenshots of texts and things that he sends me because it's important and I want to remember these things no matter how small they are. So here I am going to add a little bit of layering behind the tweet photo or the tweet screenshot. And then I'm also going to add a couple of brads from this, I think this is called Tutti Fruity. I'm not sure who made it, but um, my friend Daisy Niemeyer gave it to me um, when I went to go visit her in Colorado a few weeks ago. Now I'm going to just put a few of the scraps on this filler card. That's actually going to be the card that I journal on about the picture of the tweet. And I just keep it super simple. I'm going to glue down these pieces of paper. I'm going to add a few tears in them and then I'm pretty sure this one's all done. I am going to add a bunch of journaling and you will be able to see that in the photos at the end of the layout. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you will check out the links below to visit the other ladies that are participating in Scrap Timber today. Thanks so much for watching. I will be back hopefully soon. Bye!